All right, so on today's episode, of, I actually just started working on a memorial pot for one of my customers. Um, she brought in this shirt that said Trophy Husband. Um, unfortunately, um, condolences out to her, but her husband passed away. So we're going to create this memorial pot for her. Um, I have created more memorial pots for her in the past. And I've incorporated um, his shirt that said Trophy Husband. And she also um, gave me this hat. And so you guys stick around and I'm going to show you guys um, the final product of this pot that I am doing. This memorial pot. Alright, I always glue down the middle and work my way to the edges. It just helps keep everything even. And I just do a little at a time. Alright, you guys. So I did go back and I cut out the actual collar of the shirt and then I did add it on here. So now you can see that and I'm getting ready to go ahead and glue this. And then I will show you guys the next step. All right, you guys, so I have everything glued down now. And I glued the tops. And I also cut the extra piece that I had hanging down in there. You don't want too much to hang down in there to where it grabs too much moisture from the plants. All right. All right, so now I like to determine uh, which type of plant I am going to put in there. And so I just kind of go, go through the process of elimination. Just look at how each one would look sitting in there. I kind of like the look that this one is giving me. I like the look this one is giving me as well. So that's kind of how I determine which plant goes in there. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that one. All right, you guys, so we have a winner. So let me show you. I took a moment to consult with my client and this is our winner. And so this is what I will be putting in her memorial pot. It is a uh, jade plant, and I decided to use my self-watering pot inside of here. It actually sits in there perfectly at the right height. You see how it sits down from the top. And so once I put this in here, that is the look we'll have. So I will show you guys that final look once I get it all together. Okay, so that is actually sitting just a little too low for me. And so I am going to fix that with this right here. All right, you guys. So now I'm going to take the time to fill this void in. If you see, these guys, it's a void in here. So I did get the styrofoam placed in the bottom. And how I normally fill my void, this is one of the ways that I do it. So I'm just going to take some of this, which is actually, um, I actually like using this, especially with this being a memorial pot, because it kind of gives that cloud look, almost like, you know, you're trying to say that, you know, your loved one is in heaven. All right, so sometimes, you know, my level of a sentimental can go very deep, but that's just another one of those things with uh, being a, a plant artist. You're able to incorporate different aspects into your art. And also, this is another way in the wintertime, another way that I like to decorate my plants to give it like that snow look. All right, so I am putting the last little bit, and you don't have to go all the way down with this. Um, you can, but just putting it right here at the top is going to hold that pot in place for you. See that? 
All right, so now I'm gonna go back and we're gonna add some rocks to the bottom. Hello, you guys, Jontel with Rooted in Sentiment and we have our finished product. Now, I do apologize. I did have more video that I did lose that showed me incorporating the hat. You can see pieces of the hat there. Let me spin it for you. Also have a piece of the hat here. But this is gonna be your completed memorial pot. And this is another big piece of the hat. All right, and I actually think it's also be a great idea. Um, if you guys ever was to do something like this, it would just be great if you were able to put a nameplate right there. Um, that would be a wonderful addition. Right. Now, most of my memorial pots in the past I've done, I've actually done a different style of them. This is my first time doing this style, and I actually like it. Thank you guys for spending time with me while I created a memorial pot for one of my clients. And again, I want to send my condolences out to her. And don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned. We've got more great shows coming.